in this video, we're going to focus on how we can create a nice smooth line here. You can see here, we have removed the point or the dots in the line, but we can still hover over it. And also we make sure that the hover effect on the point has been removed as well. So we have a very nice smooth line. We'll make this line more elastic so it looks more curved. And of course, we will change the thickness of the line so it's nice and thick. So let's start to look how to do this. In this video, we're going to focus on one of the viewers' questions, which is how to remove the points or the dots in a line chart in ChartJS. So this question came from one of my other videos about how to add shadows to the line chart in ChartJS, and probably most likely you want to remove the dots from it. That's a fair point. But if we scroll down here, this question came from Donna Jane de Guzman, and this is what Donna Jane has asked. So a special thank you first of all to Donna Jane for asking this and this is what she said. Hi, how can I remove the point dot in each data point in the line chart? I just want a smooth line. Thanks. All right, so let me start to work on that and let's start to focus how to do this. To do, to do that, we do need to go to chartjs3.com getting started link to get the default code. And for some reason I get this error here, why I do not know, but on Firefox it works fine. However. Let's copy this chunk of code here because we basically need the code on this page. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just paste this in here. Once we paste that in here, I'm going to remove that, put it in there, save this, and refresh. So now we have a nice bar chart, but we don't want a bar chart, we want a line chart. So what we're going to do is a few things. We're going to convert this into a line chart. Uh, so let's search here. The type will be line. Secondly, I want to change the color because if I save this right now, refresh, you can see we have multiple colors here and I don't want this. I want just single color only. And eventually it will not matter so much because we will not even have these kind of background colors anyway. But just to be sure and to simplify, we're just going to put in only one single color here. So once we save this and refresh, now we have a single color. The next thing what I want to do is to maybe to smooth out the line because right now we have these dots here, but also it's not elastic. It's a very tightened line, which is just straight lines. And let's make it more elastic so it creates some curves. And we will do that by putting in the tension. And here, if we say tension 0 0.4, by default it is set on uh, 0, which means that we have these straight lines. But once we put on 0 0.4, it becomes far more elastic. Once we do that, we have a more nicer, smooth line with more elasticity. Next, what I want to do is I want to increase the thickness here. Border width, we can remove this by default. The thickness should be then about 3 pixels. All right. So now we have this. So how do we remove these point items here? So basically, these point items are based on the point radius. So all we have to do here is put a comma. We say point radius. And then we indicate here zero pixels. That would indicate that the radius or the circle radius will be equal to zero pixels. And by default, it's probably like five to 10 pixels. So if I refresh now, you can see now our dots has been disappearing here. And of course, we still have here what we call the uh, hoovering effect here. We can remove this as well. To do this, all we have to do here is comma. And then we say hoover point radius. Pay attention here. On the capital P and the capital R. Same story here. Then we say here as well, zero, save that, refresh. Now, if you hover over it, you might notice here we have hardly anything here. And I guess the tooltip is, oh, there we are. Oh, I do notice here something. So I just have to check what it is. So I just quickly check. Apparently, I made a tiny mistake. Instead of hover point radius, it is point hover radius. So is it point hover radius? Still with capital H, capital R here, also on zero. Save that, refresh, and now if you move over it here, you might see here, uh, let's see, this is very tough. There we are. So we move over it, we don't have any more the Hoover effect here on it, but of course it's quite hard to pinpoint the exact uh, dot or pixel here where you have to Hoover over. And that's basically here, how you can make a smooth line here, including the Hoover, removing the Hoover uh, point radius as well.